Last time you were with us, we had just flown across New Zealand in search of a new bus to call home. And to our luck, we found a beaut. We decided to call her Bobby, we packed a few essentials, and started our drive north again. By the time we got home, we were eager to start our bus transformation. So we dug in and stripped the bus out to get a good look at what we were working with. Hey team, uh, we're back at it again. This time we're going to remove this insulation. Um, after a bit of research, we believe it is a product called KPOC, well, at least acts like the product KPOC insulation, which is extremely flammable. And yeah, that's probably the main reason why we're going to get rid of it. Also, it's not really well tucked in. I mean, there's so many gaps and stuff anyway. So, it's gonna go. I think just because this will be our house for the next while at least, um, it's probably better off putting something in that's definitely gonna keep us warm and just peace of mind knowing that it's a little bit more fire retardant for whatever insulation we put in. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna remove it now. Uh, there is actually some bit of tips on removing this stuff. Uh, and I think one of the biggest one is basically try to cover up as much as possible. I did notice that it was quite dusty, so maybe we're going to check on some masks. Um, and gloves. And gloves, Tegan says. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. And then we shall remove it. We are currently removing the insulation now. Well, Tegan's attempted to anyway. Um, unfortunately it's a bit adhesive, so Tegan's trying awfully carefully not to scratch the roof too much. Um, but yeah, just got the dust mask as well because it gets pretty dusty. Get it girl. I think I'm doing a better job than you did. We got on with the job, slowly making our way through the very well stuck on insulation, trying to get rid of as much as we could. We realised using a scraper was the easiest way, but it was still a job that was going to take hours. Good technique there. Solid effort. Nice and careful. I mean, you can obviously see we know what we're doing. Oh, you got my spatula. We're going to keep on going. Uh, we'll come back in a bit because we're running low on battery. But yeah, it's going alright. Unfortunately, with all that insulation coming off, the only job wasn't just stripping things back, but also cleaning up, and the discarded insulation covered the whole bus. Once it was cleared, it was good to see what we were really working with under all that. When we got to the bus the next day, our first task was ripping up the floor lining and to see what sort of state the ply flooring is in. Um, we're just trying to remove some of this subfloor ply because uh, it's a bit mouldy. Yeah. That's definitely something probably from the window here. Yeah. We need to look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's rusty. Oh, yeah, it's a bit rusty. Yeah. Down. And we're on an angle right now, so there's probably no yeah. reason for it to trap. Yeah. Just a quick update we have basically removed ceiling and insulation. Uh, there's a little bit left on that kind of glued on I guess but uh, I'm generally thinking the majority of it can stay like that because we're going to cover it up with insulation anyway um, and then the bottom just to move rip up the floor yeah I managed to rip up all the carpet and one um, there's some substrate at the back for substrate that we're going to place just this edge part and this back part potentially there was a leak here for this window that comes down so we're going to have to look into this we'll probably remove the seal and fix that um 
but otherwise, because it wasn't used um, as a ski bus beforehand, could have been heaps of gear, wet gear at the back as well, so that needs to be replaced. But this front part, it's pretty snaz. Yeah, that's pretty good. Sorry about the camera work, it's a bit shitty. Yeah, so I'm just going to go through now and actually make sure outside's all packed away because it looks like it's about to rain. Yep, rain is definitely heading this way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I might mark out where we need to replace some wood. Or not, otherwise it's like a quick 30 minute job at the back there. Maybe an hour. Maybe two hours in my case. We spent the rest of the afternoon double checking the floorboards, making sure there weren't any other soggy patches, rust or obvious leaks that could cause an issue in the future. Hey guys, um, so back in the bus, uh, I'm about to do a bit of marking out. Tegan is unfortunately not here, so I'm just going to do a real draft mark out, um, and then we can get to finer details with her later on. Um, so I might, you know, I might just measure it by eyesight right now. Um, and then once she gets back, we can confirm that's kind of roughly what we want and then I can actually measure it properly. We spent a lot of time discussing what type of layout we wanted. We'd researched a lot of other coasters and bus design layouts and picked up on things we liked and others that we knew wouldn't work for us. So we came up with a rough floor plan that could be perfect for what we want out of our Bobby bus. In the end, it was looking pretty good, so Dylan came with us seeing how a new shower tray would fit. Stoked. So I think it looks quite good. Awesome. I'll just show you quickly now. Hey guys, um, basically we've been doing work on and off uh, every weekend and some weekends we haven't been able to get to it which has kind of delayed us a little bit but we're trying to get there and we think we're still going to meet our deadline which is awesome. Um, so essentially what we're doing or what I'm doing today is trying to fix some leaks that we have um, yeah a bit of a challenge but hopefully we can get through it um, but yeah I'll just I'll just show you roughly like you know little parts during the day of what we get up to um, try to explain a couple of things if possible but otherwise yeah should be good so one of the problems is the rear lights kind of leaking up and through there um, so the water generally kind of comes through here and down and down there so we're going to try and fix that by sealing up and around but from the outside um, so I'm just going to remove it and then have a look at how it's assembled and then go from there well I was taking stuff off and that didn't come to plan. Yep. Just snapped right off. She'll be right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the seal looks pretty crap. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? In order to remove the light, we started by removing some of the nuts at the back. Unfortunately, the majority of them had rusted through. It proved a little bit difficult. Once we got it off though, we quickly realised that the gasket, which was meant to prevent water going inside of the bus, had all but faded away. After this one was done, we had to move on to the next. So if you've been wondering what I've been up to this past little while, um, it's awfully hard to record, awfully hard, um, to record, sorry, to record, um, while we're working, while I'm working anyway, Tegan's at the cafe. Um, yes, she is working as well, I suppose. Anyway, um, this back window, basically, if you can see here, the rust, 
bit of a hole. It's been giving us some issues. Basically, we've been wanting to pop the window out, sand it back, putty it, and then do all the rust treatments, prime, put it back, basically. But it's taken me the best part of a couple of hours to try and get it. Notably, I don't have the right tools, necessarily. I've got, I mean, a flathead. And I'm pretty sure this is a, um, a plastic version of a paint mixer, because it has a little hook part there, which I think you can use to pry open the tin, maybe? I'm not quite sure. Um, anyway, been like bloody hacking away at this, going round, 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 and and I have finally bloody managed to at least pop it out a bit. I don't know if it's gonna work for you. Everyone reckons when you you do this, you should do it with two people, and I can understand why, because the window could pop out at any time and you'd break a window. Um, but I think go slowly enough, should be able to get it out. Hopefully I haven't jinxed myself just then. Um, also what we've been today is you notice the back lights are blacked out. Um, basically the gaskets on them have gone as well. Might just go the simple way and buy some neoprene foam, some like rubber foam, um, and then just cut it a size, try and just get, make sure I get the right thickness, cut a size, stick that on to the side and shove it back on, um, but a sealant should be fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, got to do that, still got to do the water tanks and stuff, just kind of waiting out for a friend really, hopefully T can arrive soon, um, but yeah, so it only took me the best part of four hours to get this bloody window out. <laughs> Super stoked. Oh man, I am knackered though. Um, but yeah, it's out. So it's really, it's really that rust in there. I'm also on the other side as well that we're gonna fix. Um, and hopefully get that nice and clean. <sighs> if anyone's doing this, uh, you know, I potentially would recommend not using a flathead screwdriver. Because uh, you could crack the window. Lucky enough, I was super careful. That's probably why it took me so long. Um, but, yeah, if, if you're also doing something similar in your bus and you just want to know what I did or a little bit more of a tip because I didn't really record too much uh, just leave a comment and we'll try and answer it below because man I was searching for a while trying to find some information um, but yeah it's out alright guys it's getting dark here um, and I'm absolutely exhausted so I've, I've just kind of sealed it up uh, apparently it's going to rain tomorrow hopefully it doesn't if it does rain Means I won't be able to do any more work on that, but I should be able to do some work inside. If it doesn't rain, then I will tackle that on tomorrow. But this is what I've done. Old low cost plastic bag. And I've done it in a way so I should be able to hopefully use that bag again as well. So at least get multiple uses from it. Okay. Signing out. Bye.